Welcome to the demonstration of the Digital Drawer Document Management System. Today we'll discuss the two primary methods of adding documents to Digital Drawer. The first method will be used when you need to insert just a few documents into the system. This can be done within the main Digital Drawer application. The second method lets you quickly scan or import a large quantity of documents and label them virtually all at the same time. This can be done within Digital Drawer Capture. It can be a big time saver when you have a lot of documents that need to be scanned or imported. First, let's talk about scanning or importing individual documents into Digital Drawer. At this point, we have already logged into Digital Drawer and are viewing the Personnel Records file cabinet. To scan or import a new document into Digital Drawer, you either drag and drop a file directly into the appropriate folder, or you click the Add Document icon in the toolbar. From this screen, you either scan a document directly into Digital Drawer or you click the Import button to import a file from your computer into the system. Once the document is displayed, you can label the document with the appropriate information. As you can see, when we selected Bill Moore as the employee name, the Social Security number and department fields were automatically filled in with his information. This feature speeds up the process of labeling documents. You can also grab information directly from the document by simply selecting the area in the document where the information resides. You can then paste that information into the appropriate field by right-clicking your mouse and selecting Paste. This speeds up the labeling process and prevents spelling errors. This is very handy if there are complex numbers on the document such as an invoice number. Once you are finished labeling the document, you upload the document into Digital Drawer by clicking Upload Document. Once the document has been uploaded, you can either import more documents or close the screen and go back to the document grid. As we mentioned earlier, this is how you can get individual documents into the system. Notice that you can also add pages into existing documents using the Insert Pages icon on the toolbar. This unique feature is helpful for storing contract amendments, invoice additions, etc. In the event that you have a large quantity of documents that need to be scanned, which is often the case when you first begin using Digital Drawer, you'll use Digital Drawer Capture to scan these files. Digital Drawer Capture is our tool designed to help you utilize the full speed of your scanner. You can scan stacks of documents at once directly into Digital Drawer. Capture then lets you easily parse the scan pages into smaller, logical documents, which the user can label in a single pass. At this time, we have already logged into Digital Drawer Capture and are viewing a batch of scanned personnel documents. We have already scanned a stack of pages into the application by clicking Documents, Scan Documents. In the list on the left, each numbered row represents one scanned page. The D on the left of the page number represents the beginning of a new document. These Ds can be easily deleted or moved around by simply clicking your left mouse button. The most powerful way is to print out several of our document separator sheets from under the Tools menu. You then insert the document separator sheets into the stack of pages in between the logical documents. When you scan the stack of pages, Digital Drawer will recognize the document separator sheets and will add the Ds into the list accordingly. Another common way of doing this is to not use the separator sheets at all. Instead, just scan a stack of pages directly into Capture. At that point, you will have a lot of pages with no document breaks. You can then manually look at each page using the down arrow on your keyboard to locate the beginning of each logical document and mark it. Regardless of the method you use, you are able to scan a large number of documents all at one time instead of having to separately scan each document. This is a big time saver that will greatly reduce the time it will take your organization to become paperless. At this point, we are now ready to begin labeling the documents. This is a very quick process and one of the biggest benefits of using Digital Drawer Capture as opposed to some other scanning application. We'll start by labeling the first document in the list using the exact same method that we used previously in the main application. 
As you can see, the index data that we just entered is applied to each page within this document. You can quickly label the next document by clicking the Copy Previous button, which automatically applies the index data from the previous document to this document. You then simply change the information that needs to be changed. Clicking the Next Document button will jump you to the beginning of the next document. We will now quickly label the rest of the documents using this method. As you can see, this is a very efficient method of labeling all the documents that you have just scanned. This process can turn the most cumbersome part of becoming paperless into a quick and easy task. Once you have completed labeling all of your documents, you can then easily upload them into Digital Drawer by selecting Batch, Upload Batch to Digital Drawer. This concludes our demonstration of Digital Drawer. If you have any questions or would like to receive more information, please contact us at 425 749-3850, email info at ascendosoft.com, or visit digitaldrawer.net. Thank you for spending a few minutes to view this demonstration.